A Jennings councilman says the state of the city is not good. After multiple resignations and a stop work order on a multi-million dollar project funded by your tax dollars. Fox Files investigator Mitch McCoy has been spending a lot of time in Jennings lately and tracking all of this movement. He's here in studio with the very latest, Mitch. Yeah, Mandy, we know of an emergency city council meeting that is scheduled for uh, Friday at 5 p.m. tomorrow. We're just hours away from that. It comes after what the Fox Files was first to report earlier this week, that multiple people are resigning, including the contractor responsible for construction of the new city center. It meant everything to me. Who knew a plot of land? This project for me as a black female in America could mean so much. Doing what I do in construction management. Irvetta Williams organized the construction of Jennings new city center up until two weeks ago. That's when she says she had no choice but to back out. To issue a, a notice of termination because of, of difficulties in moving the project forward and working alongside the current administration. Uh, it, it really broke my heart to have to do that, but I, I had to. You're tearing up. I am, I am, yep, it, it meant, Why? it meant everything to me, because this, this is home. This, this was the site of the River Roads Mall. Earlier this week, the Fox Files obtained the August 4th letter she sent to Mayor Gary Johnson, writing, quote, the project has been suspended for more than 90 days. The project probably would have broke ground for sure this summer, probably in June. Two months ago. Two or months ago. But a stop work order was issued by the a new incoming mayor. Here it is sent shortly after Johnson took office. Quote, at the request of Mayor Johnson and on behalf of the city of Jennings, please provide me with signed copies of any and all contracts, construction or otherwise, relating to the city center project. Please consider this email and official stop work order with the respect to the entire project. We don't know what direction this is going in. Jennings War II Councilman Terry Wilson says the mayor never asked for city council's approval to halt the work, despite the city council voting to approve the more than $10 million project a couple of years ago. Wilson says he doesn't know why the mayor issued the stop order but wants to find out why. He issued the stop work order uh, against the wishes of our attorney and uh, our consultant, um, our construction manager. The mayor uh, came in with a, a level of mistrust of the construction management team. Williams is not the only person to separate from the city. The Fox Files was first to report on Tuesday the city clerk, accounting coordinator, and buildings department manager all quit. It's a difficult issue. Jennings City Attorney Sam Alton also resigned. It comes three weeks after this interview about vehicles being towed from driveways. Legally, would I recommend getting an administrative warrant? Sure. Can it always happen? Should it always happen? Not necessarily. It's just, it's a little bit complicated. In Alton's resignation letter, he writes, quote, by the mayor's own admission, his move to terminate my employment is retaliatory for my suggestion that the city obtain administrative warrants prior to towing cars from personal property. The mayor makes many unsupported conspiracy-like allegations. I would suggest that you, as council members, ask for proof of his unsupported allegations in the future. Uh, we lost a lot of key uh, positions. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people uh, resigned that, that kind of was the engine and the transmission of the city. Is the city going rogue? We're not in a good spot right now, I'll tell you that. They need to focus on getting the community together. There's no dirt turning for the new city center complex. Some hope it stays that way. We have streets that's raggedy. We have buildings that need to be torn down, you know, and it's just ridiculous. It makes no sense. But for others like Williams, she wants to grab a shovel, even though she already quit. Jennings is home. This is where I grew up. 50 years ago, our family moved here. My mother still lives in Jennings. And so this project out of my entire career meant the most to me. We reached out to Mayor Johnson. He responded today saying he was going to hold a news conference tomorrow, 1 p.m. at City Hall to negate allegations. Many we're really looking forward to this news conference because it could shed some light. Absolutely. And Mitch, do you know a reason or have any speculation as to why the mayor would put a stop to this project? So Mayor Johnson is is not new to Jennings politics. Mm -hmm. He was a councilman before mm -hmm. we actually 
dove into the archives and we found a clip of him from last September talking about it, opposing the construction. He spoke with our Elliot Davis, and I think we have that here. And this is what this is what he said to Elliot. Back what then. would you tell the mayor? I would tell the mayor to stop the project, halt the project, halt the process, and let's listen to the residents and let's spend the money wisely. We have a city hall now that we can build on and we can expand. Hmm. So is it a reason? I, hmm. You know, there might be a little speculation maybe to why he hit the pause button on the project. But here's the, a reminder that ordinance is still in effect. So the, something has to go forward. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll find out tomorrow at one o'clock. All right. We'll all be watching. I know yeah. you'll be there and covering it for us, yes. Mitch. Thank you.